Oh, gee, why didn't I think of that? is the best. So, you thought you could steal my carpet? Your carpet? <laughs> You stole it. Uh, maybe this isn't the best moment to antagonize him? <laughs> it's about time, you useless oafs. Now fetch my carpet! It's his fault we're late. His head's too slow. Oh, my head? You want you? Yes, you and that. Do it! Going! Aw, <laughs> oh, the poor thing's scared out of its wits. I know the feeling. Carpet of Carbale from Zarlax clutches. <laughs> Easy, fella. It's okay now. You're safe up here with us. Oh man, I hate to think what it was like when that crank was roaming free. Which reminds me, you don't want to be late for Magical History 101. Oh. You mean boring 101? Mr. Sternwan's worse than a sleeping potion. I'd rather kiss a dragon. That can be arranged. Now, off with you. And so, in conclusion, that is why wizards wear hats. Now, who can tell me what magical event took place in the year 1776? Cassandra? Huh? Answer the question, please. Uh, true? False. None of the above. All right, Vern. North America won its independence July 4th. Incorrect. The Wizard's High Council decreed that magic against Mortys was forbidden. 
But uh, Professor Stern warned. Now what, Vern? I know I'm right. It's in all the history books. We are not interested in more <laughs> trivia here. <clears throat> As I was saying, the decree led to Zarlak's rebellion. Huh. Imagine if Zarlak had won. Mortys like that one would have been our personal slaves. My great-grandfather sacrificed his life so that smug warts like you could be free, too. That's right. He's the one who fought Zarlak. Oh, what was his name again? Oh, yes. Loser. Loser. That's it. Your twin toast. Since <gasps> you all seem so interested in the subject, I think a first-hand look is in order. All right, students, we are taking a field trip. Everyone line up, single file. Follow me, students. Wow, we've traveled all the way back to 1776. Too bad we couldn't lose the twins in a different time zone. <clears throat> It's good to be back. You lived here, Ubos? Here's air everywhere. Single file, stay together, class. And you know the rules when traveling through history. Do not touch anything! Wow. I've never seen so many sparklies. <laughs> Hey, hey, look at the shimmer on this one. Sparklies? He's half elf, remember? They have a thing for sparkling stuff. <laughs> Go figure. Hold it, Gus. You know the rules. Look, but don't touch. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Ooh. Wow. Hmm. They'll never miss one little crystal. Ultimate Book of Spells will be back after the break. Let's watch more Ultimate Book of Spells. This is your last warning, Zarlak. The High Council will not tolerate any more of your dark magic. Beware, Getz. My patience with this council grows weary. Getz? That's your great-grandfather, Cassie! It must be. I never had the chance to meet him. Know this. <laughs> Those of the dark forces are behind me. Stand in my way, and we will crush you all! Oh, oh my, we're out of time for today. Wait, we have to see what happens. This was their last meeting before the battle of all battles. Tomorrow we can read all about the battle, pages 82 through 97 in your textbook. Are we? 